Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com, and it's now time for another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique where I take one of your websites and give it a critique email critiquers. And if you'd like to submit your website for a possible critique, click the link down below. It will take you to the website, submit it, and maybe I'll critique yours. But remember, I get hundreds of them in the mail all the time. So let's do this one. So before we get to the actual Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique, I realized after I was done, I kept messing up the guy's name. I kept saying Hustler. It's actually Holster. Right, holster? Yep, holster. Now, part of the reason I mess up words all the time is because my eyes shake. See that? That shakes, which causes me to not see words properly and mess them up. So that's my excuse right now for why I messed up his name. So as you hear me talking about Hustler, it's actually holster. Let's get back to it. What do we have? We have D Hustler. Videography and photography, this one is not built on a Squarespace website. I want to remind you that if you haven't checked out Squarespace, it's what I personally use for jaredpoland.com. Go to squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14-day free trial. That is my affiliate link, so if you decide that it's for you, I get something for it, and you save 10% when you use the code fro at checkout. D Hustler, I'm going to load this page for you real quick because I want to hear something. Yeah, I hate music on a website when it loads because I'm like, what the hell is that crappy, boring ass music? Uh, to me, it's cheesy. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause, but as you can see, none of the other things come up as a normal YouTube video would. So they turned off the ability to rewind or stop and start. I mean, yes, if you click it, it will start. If you click it, it will also stop. I'm not a big fan of leading with a video like this. I like the fact that you have a book uh, that you're turning the pages on, um, I would try to think of a different way to do that. I just don't like videos playing with music that are auto playing. That just bothers me. And I think it bothers a lot of other people when they're on uh, a website. So the first thing that I notice on a site like this is it looks like it's built in the early 2000s. It just has that cheesy look with the, and, and I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna just say it. It has a cheesy look with this 1990s-esque looking film strip uh, at the top. That to me, it's fine with the D Hustler. I get it, that I could live with, but I just find this to be really cheesy and amateurish looking. So at the bottom it says photography is beautiful, videography is beauty, 24 frames per second. I can live with that, I can like that. We've got YouTube, we've got Instagram, we have Facebook. I'm gonna click on Instagram real quick just to take a look. Uh, D Hustler, lists of photos, always a good thing. Also putting up Wedding packages over here, hmm, interesting. Jewish wedding right there, or Jewish something because they're high-fiving. All right, so let's go back to the website and talk about that because the, the website is what's killing me right now. So this is the first page that you're introduced to. There's really nothing else that says contact us, but it doesn't really tell me about what is going on here. Let's, it, you have to decide where to go. I mean, yeah, I guess you're pushing weddings, but let me hit about. About, Jesse D. Hustler, owner and videographer slash photographer. All right, welcome to our About Me page. I've been lucky to work with both, to work both here in Canada as well as overseas. I've been shooting a huge variety of weddings and television production since 2012. I believe it's about being warm, friendly, and honest when dealing with others. I work hard to ensure that your wedding will be shot with the passion and desire that you want from a trusted wedding professional. Hurried work is worried work, and a job not well done is not a well done job. Unknown, but Jesus says it all the time. He says, it says Jesse. Uh, Tila Aldridge, Aldry, Justin D. Conchi, Eric Jer. Okay, so we list all the people that can do jo photo jobs for you. That's fine. I don't mind that. Uh, I would make this first page. I like the book, don't get me wrong. I just hate the music going. I don't know what I would do. I would do a slideshow. I would just do a slideshow, even if it's your hands and you come up with a way of having the pages turn and let people turn them. I would do that more than I would do um, a video like this. Also what I would, oh, actually let's see how many views it has. 98, and it went up July 30th of 2016. That's not good to say 98 views. That means not a lot of people are going over to the website to see this, or it hasn't been shared or posted anywhere uh, to get a lot of people to view. So that's something that I personally look at. How many views does it have to kind of gain a little bit of credibility? What I would do on the front page personally, uh, I would do a slideshow. I would talk about the work that you guys do and what you offer. It sounds like you are 
you've been doing this since 2012. You do videos, you do high-end productions, you do, you do weddings. I want you to list that stuff on the front page that welcomes people. Here's what a wedding for you could look like if my team was in charge of capturing your most precious moments and bullshit like that. Personally, I mean, whatever you want to say to entice people when they're looking at it. That's what I would do. List the things that you do on the front page. Hey, my name is so-and-so. Welcome to the page. How can I help you? Not just contact us. You need to ask the questions. What could I help you with? What could I do for you? Showcase your best work and then let people discover from there. So you list photography here separate from video. So we'll take a look here. Happy Ellie Ever After starts here. I hate that. Um, w uh, we take pride in our... Okay, so here's a slideshow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Too long. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, what the hell just happened? So it launched it. One, two, three, next. Okay, so it launched it. One, two, three, next. One, two, three, what the hell? One, two, three, next. Ah! You're killing me, Smalls! You're killing me with the load time! One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. And if somebody wants to stay on the image, they're gonna click on it. But don't make them wait six seconds to go through the photos. Also, the fact that they have to load each time. I'm gonna plug Squarespace right here because of the fact that they will, ch you upload your images, right? I upload my images to Squarespace at 2,500 pixels on the longest side at 100 DPI or 150 DPI, whatever that ends up being. But what Squarespace does on the back end is they will change the image size uh, to help it load faster depending on the size of the screen that somebody's looking at it on. That's one of the reasons I like it. I wasn't planning on plugging it right here, but go get the free trial, fronosphoto.com, sorry, squarespace.com slash fro. Take the 14-day free trial if you like it, use it. If you don't, no harm, no foul, stick with what you got. But that was a pain in the ass that caused me not to want to look. I also want to see, is this a responsive website? Responsive means that as I change it, everything changes. It is not a responsive website, which is a failure in this day and age to not have a website that changes. And when I say responsive, let's, let's do this real quick. I'm just gonna show you what responsive is. I'm gonna go and click on enter me, which a lot of people don't like. But look, responsive means that as you change your mouse's, you know, you change. So different screen sizes. It's going to change everything for you to fit on that particular device that somebody's on. That's responsive. Squarespace sites right out of the bat are responsive. Okay, I'm done yelling at you, but I also, I wanna see, yes, oh, it just takes too long to see these photos. I wanna see a couple of different options under photography. Let's see best of the best weddings. I wanna see portraits. I wanna see details. I wanna see the options to see those shots, and I want the ability to personally see it, what does this do? This lets me switch it through. Oh my God, there's 71 photos. Way too many photos. Pick your best, so split them up. I wanna see your best 20 from Candids. I wanna see your best 20 portraits. I wanna see your best 20 stories. Get that stuff in there and let people choose that from a drop down or scroll down the page so they can see it. But I wanna see a gallery. I wanna at least have the option for the gallery. Okay, I'm done yelling at you there. Videography samples. When you book with us, you will receive at least 45 minute full length film of your special day. Holy shit. Below are some edited examples currently in our portfolio. Stop bouncing. People are, gonna, people are gonna yell at me for you bouncing to update you. There are six separate demo reels that mix many weddings we worked in 2000. All right, fine, I'm not gonna watch this. Um, I'm sure they're fine. The morning is always buzzing with excitement. Bridal parties are always pu busy putting on their dresses and getting the perfect hair and makeup done. The groomsmen are, okay, whatever. That's fine. So you have different examples that people can watch. I live with that, that's cool. Uh, what was I gonna say? There was something else I wanted to see on this site. I don't know, but let's click on packages. I'm, I'm just lost when I come onto this page. Wedding packages, you get the silver, the gold, the platinum. I hate that so much, and I don't have an honest to goodness uh, idea of what it should say or could say. I just hate silver, gold, platinum. Would you like the better, the best, the less? We wedding packages, All right, just, this website looks cheesy and that's upsetting to me. The work is good and you need a website to represent that. Um, one professional trained photographer. What is that saying, like one professional trained monkey is gonna come out to my photo shoot? 
Why do you need to say trained? You said prof like using the word professional and trained doesn't make you any better. I fell into this trap as a younger photographer where I, on my business card it said professional photographer instead of just photographer because I thought by calling myself a professional it meant that I had more credibility when in reality it's your work that demonstrates whether you're a professional or not. You don't need to tell people we're professionally trained. What the is, bleep me Dan, thank you, what is tra professionally trained right there? All right, so packages, 16 up to eight. So this is where I'm lost. One, uh, one professionally trained photographer, I hate this package because I want two photographers for this amount of money, but 18 hours of photogra photographic coverage? What are you photographing? Are you getting up there at seven in the morning and you're not, and even by 11 at night we're gone, even be well before that, but 18 hours of coverage? Are you staying for the post nuptials, the, the, Whatever's gonna happen in the in the in the honeymoon suite, 18 hours is an asinine number to put on something. I would not do more than 12. You tell people, you know, 12 hours of cover. I, I never put hours on my packages. What I used to tell people is that no, I, you can't have me for three hours at uh, one third of the price I wanted because you you know want to pay me less time. The reason I say that is because you're hiring me for the day. I'm gonna be there to shoot your wedding. I'm not taking another job where I'm leaving after five hours and be like, hey, screw you, I'm leaving after, uh, before the bride kisses you, no, the, the groom kisses you, whatever. I'm not leaving. So just tell them I cover your full event. Generally speaking, that's eight, 10 hours. If you need extra time, we can certainly do that. I'm not a big fan of packages that say four hour package, eight hour package, 18 hour package. What's next, a 24, that's too much time and that's deadly for a photographer. I think you're gonna suck by the end of the night, especially one photographer doing all of this. All right, let's keep going. Um, two professional tra uh, trained monkeys to come do your job. Platinum videography. Uh, two professionals, 18 hours. So for two photographers, two professionally trained videographers and one professional trained photographer, so that's three people for $2,099. Why is one, per I mean, oh, because up to six. I hate listing times. It's not about times. You don't charge more money because you're getting the exact same thing. All you're doing is giving more time. Give the freaking package for $4,799 because it doesn't seem like I'm getting more other than time. It's t more than twice as much money for this bullshit 18 hour, I'm just angry at this. This is just a lot of, it's the same thing, it's just based off of time. I don't like that. I don't, I wanna pay and I wanna get more. I want two full-time photographer trained monkeys plus two professional videographers at this point for $47.99 and I want more bonuses than what I'd get in the first two packages. You want less in the first, if you're gonna do packages, Look, if you're gonna do packages for your weddings and videography and whatever you're gonna offer, you need to offer more as you step up. Not just say more hours is more money. You need to just be like, all right, for this package you only get X. You get two of these things. The next one adds four total things. The next one adds six, seven, eight different things. Added value means a lot more. You need to show people that you're gonna give them more because they pay more. And not just because hours. You need to think about what is going to be an added value to a customer or a client that's gonna make them say yes to you and say yes to your higher packages. So think about that when you're creating packages and posting them on your sites to try to get jobs for weddings or jobs for anything. Okay, moving on. I've, I've stayed on this site. I've stayed on this. How long have I been doing this site? I'm already 13 minutes in. I need to keep going. D Hustler, simpler, simple per photo packages. First off, when I hear, oh, okay. The MVP of DVP. What the hell is DVP? Digital proofs are available for $1 per proof, and photographers will touch up whichever photos are purchased, all images purchases or not, will be registered for one year. No, how are you gonna charge a dollar a goddamn proof? No, do not charge for, in that package, what I just said, where you get a higher end package, how are you gonna charge a dollar a proof? Give the damn proofs. It costs you 25 cents to make a print at Adorama Pix for a four by six. You can order 200 of them for no money. It's not a lot of money to order 200 and give it to them in a box that it comes in from Adorama Pix. So you spend $25 or $20 or less on making prints. Give them the four by six previews that you've edited for free. 
It is added value that costs you almost nothing. Why charge a dollar? Because what if you shoot 200, 2,000 pictures? Do you think I want to pay $2,000 for those bullshit proofs? No. I'm yelling. The MVP of DVP, most valuable package. Okay, what does DVP stand for? If I was looking at this website and I read D Hustler DVP, I would think that I was in Todd's search history looking up, I'm not gonna even say inappropriate, but in essence, looking up porn. Because that's where my, per my brain went with D Hustler, that's your name, can't do anything about that, that's fine. But DVP almost reminds me of <laughs> Dan, bleep all of that, thank you. Um, that's what I get out of that. Videography package, two professional trained people, photographers. Why is this so far down low? This is your best package. Move this up to the top. <sighs> Testimonials. Rob, Julie, okay, I'm a big fan. So when you have a testimonial page on your website and you are a photographer, and you list the people that are giving testimonials. Testimonials are great, but you are a visual person. Put a photo of those people from their event next to or below or above their testimonial so that there's some visual representation of their happiness in a photo so that reflects well for you. So on the testimonial pages, make sure you include a photo of the people that are giving a testimonial because that is gonna stand out so much more and should help you get more jobs. About, I already read the about, contact us, that's fine. Contact us, here's a phone number. I'm not calling them because they're in Canada. FAQ, F-A-Q, I hate the font for here because I can't read it. I can read this one. We need two things to screw your booking, date, booking deposit of 50%, a signed agreement. Once those steps are completed, we're all yours. Fine, I get it. Do you travel for destination weddings? Absolutely, okay. My, uh, General photography, uh, my last thing about this website, let me make sure I'm still within time here. My last thing about this website is do not use scripted font on your website. It is hard to read. Use a text that is easy to read so that people can quickly read it and not either lean in or lean back or get turned off that they can't read your scripted font. There's no place for scripted font on your sites right now because they are very hard to read and understand. Especially me, I have bad eyes. I have to get close to attempt to read this and I hate it. So. Don't use that type of scripted font. That's it. Uh, this is a harsh critique, I guess, but they said in their, in their post that they left this on Facebook that jobs have dried up and they've been having trouble getting gigs. Well, part of the problem, I think, is this website. I don't care if you use Squarespace. I don't care what you use or if you hire a full-time professional web developer. You need to do something to clean up this site to make it look better as well as start some more social promotions and get pictures on the testimonial page and get rid of 800 packages. When you have too many options for packages on your website, too many options is going to turn people off. Because when there's too many options, they sit there and they don't know what to pick. If you have three options to choose from, would you like to go with A, B, or C? You give people the fatal alternative. The fatal alternative is this. When you're trying to close a sale, would you like to go with package one or package two? You guess what happens right after that? People go, oh, you know what? I'd like to go with package two. Or they say, you know, I'm not ready to purchase right now, but you gave them the fatal alternative, which is a way to get a tire kicker to make a decision. So instead of sitting there and wasting more time, you sit there and you ask the question, package one, package two, either it's gonna be, I'll go with one or I'll go with two, or you know what, I'm not ready yet. Okay, thank you, please let me know when you're ready and I will do my best to help you. So that's it, guys. That's a rapid fire critique, Squarespace rapid fire critique. If you want to check out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash fro. Check it out. Leave comments down below with if you like these critiques, not even if you like them, what do you think? What are your critiques of this person's website? Please like this. Please subscribe on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. See ya. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.